Hello YouTube, welcome to Train Simwell CSX Heavy Haul. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I've been given this key by Games Planet and um, there is another version or the, an expansion pack or a different title. I don't know how exactly Train Sim World works, uh, but it's got the Great Western Railway, which is you know one of my favorite railways. I know it really well. So I wanted to do that and I want to do a total reviews episode on both of these. And so I thought, well, whilst I'm getting the information, so I don't want to do that, so let's, let's skip that. Um, no thanks. So I thought, well, whilst I'm doing this, I th I could just, uh, you know, create uh, a couple of videos showing showing you guys. I swear he looks like Squirrel, uh, YouTuber Squirrel, a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's just pick. Uh, who should we pick? This person. This person. I like the color of his jeans, but I like the color of his jeans better. Let's just pick this guy. Why not? Here we go. Name for this profile. Of course, why else? Why else would it be anything else? Here we go. So, a little bit about trains, I suppose. Uh, you know, we have had a decent train simulator, and this is this is a a decent train simulator, I hope. Anyway, before I continue, I'm just going to say put this out there because I think it's pretty cool. Um, the Great Western pack for Train Sim World is actually on sale at Games Planet for fifty percent off so if you do click on the link in the description box below for the great western express steam key um that will obviously go through my affiliate scheme and also you'll get 50 percent off also at any time if you want Welcome to purchase um train sim world with the dlc you're going to get 20 percent off that's a permanent discount for this um for this title so if you want, that's in the description box, you know, get some get some money off that and support me at the same time. Also, um, if you want to wait, I've got the Total Reviews episode probably coming out next week or something. Uh, so obviously this is me gathering footage for it uh, and obviously showing you along with it. So, you know, that that's why I've done this. Okay, press uh, E to begin. I've pressed E. This is... Uh, 10 o'clock. Hand-eye coordination is critical to, to operating, operating locomotives on a railroad. railroad. Look, down Look down at the ground, the ground up at the, up sky, the sky, left, left and, right. and right. Okay. Uh, down at the ground. Nope, that's not down at the ground. Inverted. There you go. Happy? Look down at the marker. What marker? Okay. Yes, please. That's better. Very good. Look up at the marker. Look left at the marker, look right, where's the marker? There it is. Objective complete, okay! Weird, but there we go. You know? There are many things that are not operated from a locomotive cab, so you'll be on your feet for a fair portion of the time. Okay. Stretch your legs for a few seconds to get warmed up. I like this idea. WASD, walk around. Whee! Let's go around in circles. Go up this way. Go up that way. Look at these two engines. Beautiful. Beautiful engines, these are. Some interactive elements are locked. All right, well, fine. That's Take the that. physical portion of your training complete. Okay. Head over and climb aboard a locomotive. Ooh, which locomotive do I want? Do I want to take this one over here? Or do I want to take that one over there? Ooh. 2804 or 8357. Tell you what, let's take 8357. I love the triple bogey on there, the six axis bogey. Look at that. Climb aboard a locomotive. E to climb up the steps. Whoa. More like jump up the steps. Okay. Uh, door. Open door. the cab door and proceed Aha. inside. Uh, there's someone here. Excuse me. Can I close the door? No. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. To take control, you'll want the engineers. It's not you talking, so who's talking to down. me? Can I shut the door first? Thank you. Oh, that was cool. Noise. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting, very nice. Emergency valve, can I press that? Oh, it said it's some of the things will be... Of course, it said it's going to be... Um, sit in the engineer seat, E things are going to be locked of course okay when sat in the engineer's seat of a locomotive 
The driving heads up display will appear in the bottom right corner. Yes. This HUD shows key information about the state of the locomotive while you are driving. Okay, I see brake pressure, I see. Uh, the dials oh, well, on the you guys just telling me now. Brake system pressures. But I know this stuff. Along the bottom, yep, are the I see that. Throttle and brake type indicators. Okay, very good. Finally, the exclamation mark on the left is the safety warning indicator. Very good. Known as the alerter. That's different. I didn't know this about that one. This will illuminate when something requires your attention, attention and must be acknowledged. And must be okay. Acknowledged. Very good. I'm a little bit impatient. I want to get. I want to get moving. I want to see how much of this is functional. Because we've never. On the In fact, there is one so title: uh, London Underground Simulator. London Underground Simulator is pretty in depth. All right, well, we're going to turn it over here. Uh, medium, bright. What else have we got? Off. Well, oh, bright. There we go. Can I go have a look? There are Can three I, I want to go have a look. To operate yeah. this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and, and the throttle. throttle. Yes, very good. The so reverser the reverser can determines go into... direction of travel. Yep. Put this into four. I know, I know I'm being a little impatient, but it's because I've... I've... I've handle trains before very good to the left is the auto brake which applies brakes along the entire length of the train okay very good let's move this to so release. there's your automatic brake there's your dynamic brake so we're going to go to release there we go so that's good we're about to move so make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around very good remember safety first Alrighty. Space ball. Now that's it won't power. let me it won't let but me do that. Too much. Right. Too much uh, power too soon can damage both the locomotive and of the course cars. all the electromagnetic the slip, nice all that kind slow. of stuff, the power going Increase through it, the, the torque, the traction. One notch. Very good. Uh, I'm going to do it like that. There we go. Wait a minute, I, I, I want to stop. I, I don't want to continue. Okay, I need to let go. I want to let go. I want to let go of the throttle. I... <clears throat> right, we've just crossed the speed limit. Is it going to tell me? You're moving. Great work. To maintain a what? constant it's speed... It's impressive. Move the throttle back to its idle position. It is impressive. I mean, it, that works, that works. So far, that works. That works. Driving, that works. You may that wish works. to view the train from the outside. You uh, can do this I wonder if any of these work. Of the many external cameras. Okay. Very good. Have a play with moving the camera around while the train is coasting along. Uh, okay. Cool. That's a good dynamic camera, actually. I'm, I do like that camera. That's a good idea. Can't go out of the ground. That's very good. This looks like Unreal Engine. I think it is Unreal Engine. I think I saw it at the beginning. Say it's Unreal Engine. The coolers, all the fans. Those ones aren't spinning. These three are. It's exhaust. I've been inside one of these, well, not not an American one, but a British one, a class 68, been inside one of, one of those, the engine rooms, wow. There are, uh, it's very cramped in there, but there's so much going on in there, right, back inside we go. All right, all right. That concludes the basic engineer training on very the good. Motor. So, let's bring it to a stop. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. Yep. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train ah, and its That cargo. zooms in and out, very good. Caution, do not move the dynamic brake to uh, set up until throttle has been idle for 10 seconds. Well, let's bring that up to that. Okay, it's the same controls as a train simulator, which I, I, I would expect. You know what, this is a worse place to be stopping. I am stopping on a switch. 
that's a bad idea. No, I, I need to release the brakes. I should be stopping. Oh, well, clever. All right. Very good. Some well achievements. Done. Very good. You're now all set to explore Train Sim World. Cool. To learn more about railroad operations, you can trigger loads of you achievements unlocked here, or they can be found in the main menu. All right. Well, let's go here. Let's go to. Let's go to main menu. We're going to do. Obviously, we'll do the um. Tutorials, I think. I think that that's what I'll run through here. So we've got Rockwood Mine, Rockwood, uh, Garrett, Sal uh, Salisbury Junction, and down all the way to um, whatever it was down there. Right, let's uh, sort this out though. I just want to sort this out. Actually, that that's not bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that as it is. Um, you know, no, no big deal there. Uh, units Imperial, yep, yep, yep. Screenshot quality high. Oh yeah. Uh, disable junction derail. No, we want to be able to derail. Very good. Uh, controls. No, not that. Keyboard controls, here we go. I just want to... Apparently any key for everything. Awesome. Yes, please. Yeah, any key for everything. Any key. Uh, of course. Well, whatever. Right, let's continue with the tutorials. Let's get another tutorial in, I think. Uh, so these are five-minute tutorials, all of these. And yeah, they're all they're all five-minute tutorials. So let's do another, say, two five-minute tutorials. So we're over here at the uh, Cumberland Yard car shop. So we'll do that, and we'll we'll start that one. All right. Fairly, fairly all right. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do two or three episodes of this. Um, and then I will, I will have the Total Reviews episode out. And then, of course, as soon as we get the Great Western Railway, that's going to be the big one for me. So, you want to learn about yard switching? Let's take a look. Yeah, I just, I just want to know what's available. What, what can Before I do train in Trains in World? Crews arrange all the cars together. And how much water I can drink goes into making on the job. sure the right cars go to the right tracks to make up the right trains. This process is called switching. And if you watch the uh, film Unstoppable, you'll know what happens if uh, whilst you're board, switching, you go and knock the throttle in uh, gear. Yep. Uh, can I not click and... No, it has to be like that. Okay, very well. It's you again. Hello. Maybe you are the one talking. No, I'm going to do that. I'm I'm going to sit down here. Set the locomotive up and pull towards the cars ahead. Yeah, but what I want to do Take is... Take it easy, though. Five miles an hour will do just fine. What I want to do is I want to have a look. How do I get those flashing? That's what... I've always seen these things flashing. I want to know... I want to know how to get these flashing. Right, let's see if I can remember how to do all of this stuff. So, uh, reverser in forward, which is going to be that. There we go. Uh, auto brake release, which is going to be that. Uh, I don't know what that is over there. A couple of beeps of the horn. Really, we don't need to do that. And uh, we're going to do one notch forward. There we go. Gently bump into and the we only need to be, I don't know, five. Will engage automatically. That will do us quite nicely. So we're just going to gently bump into the car ahead, it says. So, what I'm learning about trains at the moment is, at slow speeds, you're supposed to have accidents. No, you're not really supposed to have accidents. You've got to be really careful. I love the reflections there. Look at that. The reflection of the actual indicator is actually reflected on the outside of the train. That's actually kind of cool. Right, now if I remember correctly, it's two point something miles an hour is a good speed to be hitting at. So two miles an hour should do the trick. There we go. That's just, yeah. All right. That's it. Now we gotta go out you there, don't we? This. I'm guessing, I'm just guessing this. Now, haul them back beyond the switch in the track. Wait a minute, are these connected? How did you connect those? 
Oh look, I'm done, I've done an unstoppable. Right, uh, can I do, can I do something here? Can I run to this side of the train? Is there another cab on this side of the train? No, there isn't. Okay, well, mm, I'm just rolling along here. This is because I didn't have the... No, I should have the brakes on. Do I not have the brakes on? Oh, no, they're released. They must have released themselves uh, when I was trying to mess around with slowing it down. Okay. Well, uh, what we need to do is we need to put these on to bright, and then we need to switch those off. That makes sense to me. Attendant call. Spotter buttons. Spotter reverse. On. What does that do? Sander. Wheel slip. PCS open. Sand. Brake warning. Alert. Uh, bell. Let's do that. All right. Uh, let's pop this in reverse. And uh, back us up. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Very good. Very good. I think a good 10 miles per hour should be should be a reasonable speed limit. I think 15 is the speed limit in the yard, so... Um, oh yeah, the red little icon there does give us indication of said speed limit. That 10 miles an hour is fairly good. I'll leave the bell on, because that's clever. I know we're supposed to leave the bell on for these things. I can open the door from here. Let, let a breeze get in. Okay, the train is clear. Bring it to a stop. Very good. Uh, let's put some service on that. Okay. Objective complete. To put these cars with the others on the adjacent track, uh -huh. a switch in the track must be changed. Uh -huh. Climb down from the locomotive and walk to the switch. Could I press the wiper there? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I saw something about a wiper. Oh, is that, is it that over there? Uh, yeah, it, okay. Whatever. Right, does that mean I'm going to have flashing lights back here now? I keep trying to actually just climb off the steps. No! How do I get flashing lights? How do I sprint? Ah, shift. Ooh, Doppler effect. Ding, ding, ding. Very cool, very cool. I'm liking this. Right. Oh, wow, the train is really clear, isn't it? Right, so we're going to switch over and we're going to, I'm assuming, couple those cars onto us. Yeah, that looks about right. Right. Move the lever so the rails align to the other direction. Of course. Ta-da. Excellent. We're all set. Climb back aboard and push the cars down the track, connecting them with the others already there. I remember watching a, an episode of a, of a TV show called Due South, and uh, the Mountie, uh, the Mountie, one of the Mounties in Due South, decides to get a rifle, and from God knows what distance, a few hundred meters, goes and shoots that switch to just flick it over. Uh, oh, let's go over. Let's just. Go over it now. There's no door on this side. Hello, again. Sitting second months seat. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. Let's close that. Oh, no, we need that open. We need we need the we need the ambience. Right. Into forward we go. Really, I should have had that put into neutral. That should have been what I did, but uh, obviously I didn't do that. See, that's, that's something it didn't tell you, but you really should have done. That's kind of important. Right, where am I headed? Okay, I'm headed out that way. Here we go. Now the problem is, yes, I know, I know. 
I know what speed I want to travel at when I'm coupling. The problem is I cannot see what I'm coupling to. I need a banksman out there going, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. Ooh, fuse cabinet. Yes, 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 zip it. It's all these. Emergency fuel cut off and engine stop. Sun visor. Cool. Oh, better check what I'm doing here. I'll start putting some brakes on. Because I can't see. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get up. I'm going to have a look around at the front. Uh, right, you stay right there. I'm going to have a look around the front. I can't climb up here. I need to jump up here. It stopped. Don't tell me when I... Oh, it's probably got a dent switch, hasn't it? Of course it has. Uh, we've got a little gradient of a 0.2%. Can I stick the dead man switch on somehow? Problem is I can't see. That's what I, I just I want to be able to see. Connect the train to additional freight cars. But I can't see the freight cars. It says 100 yards. Objective complete. Okay. Fine. You're doing great. Keep it up. Yeah, I'm gonna hit those brakes on there right now. Now to uncouple the locomotive from the cars, climb down and walk to the first freight car. Yeah, I'm putting the reverser in um, neutral first. There we go. Put that br put the brakes on, and I'm going to switch off that bell now. There we go. So I think we're good to go. Right. Out we get, down we go. First off, apply the brake wheel on the freight car yep. so they are secured in place. All right, so let's get those brakes on. This, this thing up here. There we go. Pull the cut lever and to disconnect the locomotive over from here. The cars. How do I, oh, is it just from here? Oh, this one, there we go, that's it. Right, it's just push out, very good. So there's nothing That's down here. That's all there is to it. This process is repeated until all the cars required are assembled on the same track. To finish, climb back aboard the locomotive and move it up the track so it is ready to assemble more cars. Right, let's stick that in reverse, pop that down, and uh, back away. some service on that, get that train slowed down, and stopped. And this takes a little while to stop, you know what? Put some dynamic brakes on as well. There we go, very good. Walked a few hundred yards, drove a few hundred yards. Not bad, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos on uh, CSX Heavy Hall, Train Sim World, and obviously on um, the Great Western Express when it comes out, and obviously also a Total Reviews episode. Once again, thank you to Games Planet, and do check out the links in the description box below. 50% off until the until uh, the Great Western Express is released on that DLC, and a 20% permanent discount on Train Sim World with that DLC together so do check that out if you are interested in these videos thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains in world i think i said all this but anyway leave a comment in the comments box below and support me on patreon that's the one i definitely did not say i would really really appreciate that i'll see you guys next time